And it seems like part of this in the hopefulness of this song is that he's speaking to somebody else. You can be better than I am. And that he's kind of fallen, but is redeemable. And the other person that he's speaking to, somebody who's better than him. Run, run, lost boy, they say to me. Hey guys, Adam Mishan here, singer, songwriter, and vocal coach. And this is one of the most requested videos that I've gotten recently. Stay alive. Full version by Suga and Jungkook. Let's check it out. So it was produced by Suga and it was sung by Jungkook. So let's check it out. Wow, I love the soft entrance of the, you've got this beautiful soft electric guitar coming in, being finger picked. Then with a string section coming in, really filling it out, giving it a lot more emotion. And I love the heavily reverbed vocals. So it's kind of like that dreamy sort of feel. His falsetto is gorgeous. I could definitely hear a little bit of Justin Bieber influence here. I don't think it's any secret that Jungkook is a big fan of Justin Bieber. And uh, you could definitely hear his influence in some of the rhythmic choices. It's very Justin Bieber-esque in the way that... Da -da 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 -da. It's very Justin Bieber-esque over the rhythm of the guitar. <laughs> Like that. Okay, so this is a very hopeful song. Like, it's dark in its overall vibe and feeling and theme, but it's got a very hopeful outlook. Like, it's not like I'm down and I'm gonna stay down. It's, he's talking about feeling down, but then feeling that there's a way to be redeemed. And so that's kind of the vibe that I'm getting from the lyrics here, and I really like it. The emotionality that he puts behind those lyrics is incredible. And he's playing with so many different qualities of his voice. So if you notice, there's a lot of dynamic shifting as he's singing through this. It's not just like all, you know, either really breathy or really pure and clean, clear as a bell. He's mixing it up and then also mixing up the volume levels that he's singing with. And if you guys are interested in learning how to use these sort of qualities in your voice, check out the link down below. So just to point out a little bit of what I'm talking about, check it out here. That whole part was very quiet down in his chest voice. Now he's coming up. Now it's going more full. And then even on the words hide in the moonlight, he starts off with a softer approach and then on moonlight goes more intense. So he's playing around with these different dynamics that his voice has, which really helps to paint the picture of the song that he's going for. <laughs> So here he's going the most full out and that's generally what songs do is they'll build up to a crescendo point. And this chorus is definitely the crescendo point of this song. And he's actually not using as full of a mix as he does in some songs, like a song like Dynamite, for example. But he's with that headier approach, like using a little more head resonance, he's keeping it super intense. And so that's what helps to make it a driving climactic point of the song right now. I wonder if Suga is gonna make an appearance in this song. I kind of hope so. I hope he does a little bit of a rap, but we'll see if he just produced it. <laughs> And it seems like part of this in the hopefulness of this song is that he's speaking to somebody else, most likely a significant other. And he's saying that like, you can be better than I am and that he's kind of fallen, but is redeemable. And the other person that he's speaking to, somebody who's better than him and somebody who, you know, has the ability to come out of the dark nightmare that he's in. <laughs> And 
And so this is something that helps to progress the song is this chorus is heavier in vocal quality. The, the amount of vocal weight he's putting into this part is heavier than the first one. And you can hear it. The other one was climactic, but subdued. Whereas here, this is him going full out into his voice. This is something that you guys can use when you're singing for yourself is try to build in a song. So don't go full out all the time because you're just going to leave nothing to the imagination. You want to slowly build up the intensity as you're singing. <laughs> Love that softness to towards the end. And I mean, he's, it sounds like he's realizing or the progression of the song lyrically is leading to the point where the person he was speaking to is his salvation and is the one that's gonna lift him up out of the nightmare that he's in. So that's why he's saying, please you stay alive. Gorgeous, love that song. So if you guys like this video, if you did, please check out this one. You're gonna like it too.